people think they're always right Others are quiet and uptight Others they seem so very nice, 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 nice Whoa, side they might feel sad and wrong Whoa, no, 29 different attributes Only seven that you like Whoa, no, 20 ways to see the world Whoa, 20 ways to start a fire Get up. I can't see the sunshine. I'll be waiting for you, baby. Cause I'm through. Shut me down. Shut me up. I'll come down. Cause I'll get along with you. Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing You Only Live Once by The Strokes, which was uh, the first song of their album First Impressions of Earth in 2006, written by the lead singer Julian Casablancas. You know, wonderful guitar parts here. I wrote out both the rhythm part and lead part separately so you can kind of alternate like I did in the demo or just pick one. Either way, both parts are really fun to play. And uh, the chorus is really interesting because it's basically a single note uh, guitar hook. It is possible on acoustic, of course they did it on electric. There'll be a tab for this written out with the uh, with a chord sheet as well on the Patreon, you can check that out. Other than that, subscribe, hit the, hit the notification bell and the thumbs up, and I appreciate it. So, let's jump on in. Alright, so we, uh, we are in B major. This is a great song if you want to try out some rhythm and lead parts, um, which really complement each other well, and see how these you know these two parts can work together really well. So we're gonna I'm gonna teach you both here. Uh, but first things first on the intro, we just have this palm muting part here on an E power chord on an E five, right? So we're gonna do an E five with seventh fret fifth string, ninth fret fourth string, palm mute, and you're gonna go down down up down, and then down the rest of the time, and then repeat. So a little slower would be. Down, down, up, down, 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 and again, and that happens for four, four bars. So that's the fourth bar right there, and then we start the we start the, the chord progression. Okay. So the rhythm part would be continuing that uh, over a, a four-one-five progression. Right. We're in the key of B, but the first chord is E, which is the four chord. So. Ba -da 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 B5, da -da 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 -da, F sharp 5. Okay, so that's the rhythm part. Nice and slow. 3, 4. B5. Okay. And then at the same time, there's this lead part. catchy right and it's kind of probably what people remember about this song as far as the guitar part goes so everything's gonna be uh, well not everything at, at the beginning we're gonna be on the first three strings and it's like an E6 triad here so 999 nine, nine, you can bar it with the third finger and it's all downs drums right we want to kind of keep this um, modern rock sound a little bit so we're gonna go uh, down 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 and then seven on the first string, and that's a just a root position E triad. And we'll go down, 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 down. So that would be uh. good. Now we do a B add two. Okay, so that would be uh, you know uh, let's see eight seven nine on the first three strings, and it's the same rhythm. So down, 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 down. Now we go to F sharp triad. 11, 11, 11 on the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. Down, 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 down. So the whole thing would be 3, 4, uh. Uh. One more time. You notice that it starts on the and of 1. 1 and. Nice. 
very syncopated, great, great part there. Okay, so when, when the verse happens, the guitar part continues, but we have a couple variations, so I'll, I'll show you the variations. Uh, let's start with the lead. Some people think, okay, then it's the same thing. Everything's the same until the F sharp. He does a little hammer on there to the 12th fret, 2nd string, fourth, uh, 13th fret, 4th string. Um, which is like a, actually a B triad there, but it's back, okay? So, so it would be from the B, the B at 9 would be 1. Good. Good, so that was the first phrase. Second phrase is just like the intro. We have another variation. We go to 11 on the first string, down, down to 9. Okay, so. Good, and then regular B. Now for the F sharp, we take our middle finger to the 11th fret, slide up to 15. Do an F sharp triad up there. So that would be 11 to 15 slide. 14, 14, 15. Nice. So that whole second variation would be. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, and then the fourth phrase is just like the intro, right? So nothing different there. The rhythm part is is quite simple. It's just down every eighth note on three bar chords, E, B, and F sharp. So some people think they're always nice down, down, down. Whoa, da, 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 B, F sharp. Okay, and you could do that the whole time, especially if you're singing. It's a little tricky to play this lead part while you're singing. So you could play the down heavy bar chords the entire verse. And then that leads us into the pre-chorus, which, uh, which is a different chord progression. So let's start with the rhythm part. Um, so the rhythm part would be C sharp minor. Right? So down on C sharp, it's all down. So C sharp, E, G sharp minor, F sharp. And you can keep the rhythm going a little bit if you want to. Down, down, here's the B. D sharp minor, F sharp, E, and that repeats. One more time on the B. Okay, and then the lead part is doing the same chords, but in, in triads, sort of up the strings. All right, so that would be uh, 11, 9, 9, then 14, 13, 12. Then the first three strings, 13, 12, 11, 11, 11, 9. So that's nice triads there. Now, uh, B triad on the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings, 9, 8, 7, up to 13, 11, 11, and then 11, 11, 8, oh, sorry, 11, 11, 9, to 9, 9, 7. So that would be... And it's the same chords, right? So to recap, that would be C sharp minor, E, uh, G sharp minor, F sharp, and then same thing, B, D sharp minor, F sharp, E. So you can do either one. It, it would be the same chords, just a different register of the guitar. Okay, and that takes us into the chorus. The chorus is the same exact progression as the pre-chorus. Uh, so you could just continue, uh, sit me down. You could just keep doing this rhythm. But we want to, of course, learn this awesome guitar hook. Uh, and, and it was a little tricky doing it on acoustic, so... Uh, you know, you could you could pick up your electric right now if you wanted to try it. But I, I went ahead and made it doable on the acoustic with a just one or two adjustments from the original. So let's try it out. We would be 12th fret, 2nd string. Hit it, full note bend, and then back. And then 11, 9 on the 2nd string, right? Now slide 9 to 11 on the 3rd string. Hit it again, 9, open 2nd string. Six to eight slide, and eight again, 
six, second string open. So that would be. One more time. Okay, then second phrase, 11 on first string, nine, 11th fret, second string, half note bend, half step bend I mean, back to 11, then seventh fret, full note bend, and then unbend, second string open, third string, nine, nine, eight, second string open. So I know that's a little, a little complicated going between strings, but that's the best way I think to do it with acoustic. So. That second phrase would be three, four. All right, that whole line would be three, mid, down. Nice. We're almost there. First string, 12th fret, 11, 9, 11th fret, second string, half step bend. And then 11. And then hit it again. Now the hard part. Beautiful. You go 14th fret, then 17th fret, pull off to 14. Now here's the big stretch, 12th fret, and then 17th fret, pull off to 12. And I did watch the live versions of this, and uh, that's what he's doing. It's pretty, it's pretty big stretch, but it, that's how we get that sound. So 14, 17, 14, pull off. 12, 17, 12, pull off. Now 11, 14, 11 pull off. So that would be, that leads us into uh, 11 on the first string, nine, 12, 11. Then we go back into here. So let's try that entire line right there. Ready? Three, four. Okay. Then it just goes back to the intro. And verse and pre-chorus and chorus. Um, if you want to play the rhythm during the chorus, it would be the same as the pre-chorus. I think I mentioned that earlier. Okay, uh, the only thing now we have to cover is the outro. After there's another second, you know, there's a second verse, pre-chorus, chorus. Um, we just have the outro, and it's just a B. Uh, I should mention at the second chorus that uh, that chorus is a little extended. Uh, after we go, you know... And then we, when we go, we want to continue on with the with the main riff from before. So we go seventh fret, right? And that sort of is like the first riff. Then it's a B for the outro. All right, that's all we have left. And it's you know rhythm is just playing a B bar chord. The lead is just going 12 11 12 11 12 11. First two strings over and over for six bars. Imagine that's the sixth bar you would end on a B bar chord. So that's all the parts, believe it or not. Uh, it, it's actually quite difficult to sing at the same time. So you're welcome to just play the rhythm the entire time. Or if you're playing this instrumentally without singing, you know, you might want to try all the lead parts. Or try both, as I did. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let me know and enjoy. All right, well done, everybody. Uh, definitely a nice song to learn here. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And uh, looking forward to seeing you next video. Bye.